It's a vast and beautiful land. We're talking about an area of China in which uh, there is a lot of agriculture and the people work the fields. Rural China, home to 80% of the Chinese people. Here, life can be difficult. Most of the work that happens in the field happens by hand, and that's very hard work. Peasant farmers struggle to make enough money to support their families and build their homes. And in this small village in the Hunan province, hundreds of lives have been lost in that struggle. I find out those village people is poor enough. They want to sell the blood to make them so-called rich and they can build up the house for themselves. So a lot of family, the housing built up, but parents died. Zhao Lengzhu first learned about this tragedy watching a groundbreaking report on Central China TV. I saw the TV report on the December 1st, that is the eighth day. And uh, that was the first time for Chinese government public talk about AIDS issues on central TV station. Zhao Ling and colleagues Mike Schunemeyer and Linda Lawrence were drawn here to Shuangmiao village, the focus of the TV story, to offer help and hope to a village of 3,000 people where one in three are infected with HIV. They are the innocent. The people, without knowing it, became infected with HIV. HIV spread to the villagers in the mid-90s when private companies bought their blood to sell to clinics. HIV was transmitted when the same needle was used on many people. And because of their limited knowledge of HIV, the villagers didn't know what was wrong with them. Living is hard. The stigma of HIV means persons with HIV can't find jobs. Villagers can't sell crops. There are in excess of 500 HIV positive cases that are known, but not everybody has been tested for HIV in the village. This is something that uh, through Global Ministries we want to find out how many of the children in the village actually have the virus. Many children come from families whose parents, feeble with AIDS, are preparing to die. One uh, father come to me saying, you know, I need your help. I said, what kind of, what kind of help you need? He said, my, both my wife and myself has a HIV positive. And uh, I have two children. One is 14 years old. The other one is 10 years old. I want to prepare my 14 year old daughter to take care of my 10 year old son after both my wife and me died. But my 14 year old daughter has a heart problem. She needs surgery. The surgery will cost about 1,400 Chinese yuan, about less than 2,000 US dollars. So these kind of stories come up. They prepare for themselves to die. The children left behind struggle to survive. There are more than a hundred orphans in the village, and there are even more uh, children who have lost one parent, and the other parent is may still be living, and, um, and that parent often is HIV positive. Many children are being cared for at the Home for Love, an orphanage started by a peasant couple. They are also HIV positive, but they can't help everyone who needs it. How incredibly difficult 
it must be to not only have lost one parent, but to have lost both parents. And to be in a place where they saw their parents die such a terrible and uh, difficult death that, that uh, HIV untreated brings. We just need to get into that village and support these children in their efforts. A lot have stopped going to school because they're supporting uh, younger siblings or, or taking care of their parents. These children desperately want to go to school. Uh, they need their education in order to provide for the families. Uh, and the child sponsorship program would allow them that opportunity to do that. Our mission is clear. One, to help the children. There are people who care, and where there's people who care, there's hope. And I, know, I think the children know that people do care about them. I don't think that takes away the difficulty of their situation. There's a lot to be done. Through the Global Ministries Child Sponsorship Program, we'd like to offer these children an opportunity to have a better life. A dollar a day or less than a dollar a day can help a child tremendously in China. We would provide assistance for these children to help give them basic health care, uh, basic supplies of food, medical care, and to ensure that they have the opportunity to go to school. Two, to partner with Chinese agencies and medical schools and bring financial and other support for their programs. To work behind the scenes so that we work in culturally sensitive ways with the community. Um, and that's what we are working to try to do here and provide the treatment and care, uh, medical treatment and care that is really needed in the villages uh, where HIV is so present. Not only bring the medicine, but also bring the hope to the village of people. That is very important. Three, to help villages help themselves by encouraging the growth of small business. It's up to you to help us. Everybody has a role to play whenever we talk about responding to HIV. And it's gonna take that level of uh, commitment from all of us to share our resources to really make a major difference around HIV. To work on this issue, is the issue for every human being in the world. We need to work together. Global Ministries is trying to, to, to do a very specific kind of project there to create a model that might be able to be replicated. These kinds of opportunities that people have to give uh, do make a difference. These children are not only the future of China, but they're the future of this world. We have to help them. When I think about uh, this time that we're living with, with HIV AIDS, I think about something that Sally Booker has said when he compares HIV to the Holocaust. Because people look back on the Holocaust and wonder, how is it that we could have known about this and we didn't respond? And it's the same way with HIV. People will look back on this time and say, how could we have known and not responded? Because we do know and we need to respond. Here are ways to get involved and support the courage to hope in rural China. Sponsor a child through the Child Sponsorship Program. Be a partner in our children's ministry as we provide encouragement and financial support to improve the lives of the children in Shuangmiao Village. Make a financial contribution to the Global Ministries Fund for the China AIDS Project. Learn more about HIV-AIDS in the villages of rural China at the Global Ministries website.